Now, if it was an ideal battery, then the potential difference across this light bulb will be the same as the potential difference across here and here. And each light bulb, each of the three light bulbs will glow with exactly the same brightness. But if this two light bulbs are arranged in parallel and there's an internal resistance, the amount of potential difference across these two light bulbs is going to drop. The power dissipated within the, the light bulb in the circuit with a single light bulb is going to be given by P equals to P1. If we could measure, we can measure the potential difference across here as B1. And this is the power P1 and R1. So resistance P1 squared over R1 is the power dissipated within the light bulb. The resistance in all three cases, in all three bulbs, are assumed to be the same, then we can just represent this using R. And we can also measure the potential difference across here as V2. So what's the power dissipated within this single light bulb? It's given by V1 squared over R, and V1 is a fraction of the EMF. And it's calculated by taking the ratio of the resistance of the light bulb over the total resistance within the series circuit multiplied by the EMF. P2 will be proportional to the square of V2. And V2, now that we have two light bulbs in parallel, the resistance of the external components of the circuit is going to be half that of the single light bulb. Potential difference V2 is going to be given by R over 2 which is the resistance of these two light bulbs in parallel over the total resistance of the entire circuit which is R over 2 plus R multiplied by the EMF. This potential difference is a fraction of the EMF and it can be calculated by taking the ratio of the effective resistance of the two light bulbs in parallel over the total resistance of the entire circuit. If you compare this equation which is the potential difference across the single light bulb and this equation which gives you the potential difference across both light bulbs you'll notice that if I reduce if I decrease the numerator of the fraction by half but the denominator is not exactly divided by half the denominator is reduced by a smaller amount than the numerator which means that this fraction is smaller than this fraction therefore V2 will be smaller than V1 and we will see that because V2 is smaller than V1 the power dissipated within each light bulb here is less than the power dissipated within the single light bulb each of these light bulbs will be dimmer than the single light bulb the sum of the power dissipated within two light bulbs will be greater than that within the single light bulb but I'm just saying that each of these individual bulbs will be dimmer than this single bulb